Hey YouTube, Will here from All Electric and version 10 is here. We have a software update 2019.32.11. The Model 3 on the right hand side is still waiting for that update. <laughs> Let's jump right into the release notes on the Model X. This is a hardware 2.0 car. So as you can see here, we have version 10. First thing right off the bat, which I thought we weren't gonna get for this 2.0 car is Smart Summon. And I'm gonna have plenty of Smart Summon tests later in this video. So stay tuned for that. And a lot of app control as well in those tests. Next, if you use Spotify, now if you can log into your Spotify premium account, which is pretty cool. The new driving visualization, which I showed you in one of my previous software update videos that was just out when version 10 was only released to beta testers is out now, along with the feeling hungry and feeling lucky and the map improvements as well, which if you've seen some of my other videos, now that is out to everybody once you get the V10 update in your car. So the mobile app has definitely improved drastically, which we are going to go through in this video. You're gonna see all the changes related to Smart Summon and also another special thing that you can do with the windows. So next, if we jump down to Joe mode, we see that Joe mode is actually gonna reduce the sounds of warnings throughout the car, which is a nice enhancement for those of you with kids. Software updates improvement, you can now see what update you're gonna go to, which is nice. And application launcher has changed, so the phone is all the way on the left. Thank you so much, Elon. And driver profile now shows you when changes are being made. So let's jump right in to the car. You can see I'm running 2019.32.11 in a hardware 2.0 Model X. And if we pull up the app drawer, you can see that the phone icon is over there all the way on the left. And we also have entertainment and toy box, which you've seen from my last video. If we click on entertainment, this is a hardware 2.0 car. And you can see that the theater option is not here. So if you have a hardware 2.0 car, you do not get that or a uh, beach buggy as well. So if we go under safety and security, we can turn on Joe mode and jo Joe mode, like I said before, just makes quieter chimes. So like your backup chime, so you don't wake up kids. And what's nice is here you can see that where it actually saves for you. As you make changes, it shows you up there that it saves for you. So here's the maps where you can click on hungry and lucky. So if you're in a different area where you're not used to, you can just tap there. Here's where you can log into Spotify. So it now lives in the music app on the bottom of the display where you can log into your Spotify premium account. But the streaming and the tune in is still there. It's just added an option. So now let's jump into the UI, the new changes. And I want to make a correction because in one of my last videos where I was driving the Model X, I stated that you had to click all the way down. And one of my subscribers actually corrected me and I do apologize, I did get that wrong, but uh, he was right, and you do not have to click your drive or your turn signal stock all the way down. You can see I'm just doing the halfway up click, which typically gives you the three flashes, but that will actually initiate the lane change. So you can see here that new beautiful driver visualization, which me as the driver makes me way more confident in this uh, autopilot system, especially if I'm new to autopilot. I get a great visual reference here of what the car is thinking during the lane change, which is nice. Okay, now let's jump into this app. So we now have a new option to vent the windows. So this is great, so if the car is really hot, but it gives you a warning saying that, are you sure you wanna do this? Because you're not gonna be able to roll the windows back up. Hopefully they add that really soon because I was kind of disappointed. Like, it seems really easy to me, but it's probably a safety thing, like they don't want, you know, a kid in the car or something like that, and you roll the windows up, you know, from the app and somebody's fingers get pinched in the windows. So now moving on to what you've all been waiting for, I'm sure the coolest feature is the Smart Summon, where the car, you can send it to a particular spot and it's gonna drive itself. So let's jump right into that. So we have a test here now, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like from in the car first. And here is the app on the right-hand side of your screen where I just, selected a point. So from the Tesla app, you can select a point anywhere within the circle radius of where your car is parked. Now, I'm not trying to block the car here. I'm trying to show you that it identifies pedestrians, but it did steer around me there. So we'll pick that up later and I'll show you exactly what you see from the app view. So it does a 
excellent, excellent job. Definitely vastly improved from my other videos where I've tested it when it was only in the beta version. So there you go, it's pulling it up. And like we've seen before, once the nose of the car is in that, within that target area, then it does say summit complete. So now let's move the target over to a different spot in the parking lot and we're gonna initiate the test. So preparing to summon, I haven't touched the car, I haven't gotten in the car, I haven't moved it. So it is gonna reverse a little bit before it continues on its path. And if you'll watch, I do walk in front of the car here and look on the app screen and it's gonna show you exactly what the car is thinking as I walk in front of it. So check that out right here. I'm walking in front, it says waiting for pedestrian. I mean, how cool is that? That the car is identifying that there is an obstacle in the way and it needs to wait for that obstacle. This is really cool. So take a look at the blue line in the app. If you haven't seen Enhanced Summon or now it's called Smart Summon, thanks Elon. The blue line on the app shows you the path of travel that the car is expecting to take. And it does a pretty good job turning in between these two concrete curbs where we have a little grassy area to get to its target area. Now I did do this in a parking lot where there was limited people around and limited cars because I haven't used this version of software yet and I wanted to ensure that it was gonna work before I take it to, let's say, Costco on a Saturday morning. Now you might recognize this from another one of my tests but I'm trying to trick the smart summon here to go, I'll show you from the app view, into this other parking lot, which you can only enter from this one little area. So the car is gonna need to make a right-hand turn here, but you can see from the blue line that the car is not thinking that way. It's not seeing this median or this grass area yet. So it's actually gonna make a left-hand turn to try to get to the target spot, um, which is not the wrong way and it kind of looks like my car is trying to leave, but it does come to a slow stop at the stop sign before I do disengage the test. Okay, so now let's pull in, and I've done this exact same test before if you go back to one of my beta software version tests from the Enhanced Summon, and in this exact same test on an earlier beta version of this Enhanced Summon or Smart Summon, it did fail at this right here. It got caught around this curb. So you can see from this test, it does stutter a little bit. I am standing on a curb with a tree and I'm forcing it to make a right-hand turn to get to the target spot, but it does a great job overcoming that obstacle, even though it comes to a quick halt there before it does go a couple more feet and then tell me summon is complete. So really good job and it's able to overcome obstacles that it hasn't in previous software updates. So definitely seeing some huge improvements there. So now we're gonna take it across kind of this intersection road and it does hesitate here. I think it sees that curb and you can see in the app, it says waiting for path to clear. So it sits there for a couple seconds until it realizes, all right, maybe that's a curb and I need to go around this obstacle. So I didn't do anything to initiate that. That's just the car processing what it's seeing and then it's gonna travel around that curve and straight down to the target's point. It dis does stop again there, and I think it's either seeing me or it's seeing the curb that I'm standing on. So I'm not sure why it stopped there. And then it goes around this curve again, really impressed with the visibility and how it's able to pick up all of these curves. Yeah, that so I'll say cool. come to me, and then it gives you a route here. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so you can see it's going to go kind of roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smart Summit is definitely going to be an eye catcher. And as you can see here, this blue line wants to send the Tesla, I thought, across the parking lot, but it's going to go all the way around about. And that's showing this guy, Vince, that came up to me and was like, whoa, that car's driving itself. And he was just so awed at the fact and didn't know that there was a car able to do this. So this is definitely gonna draw a lot more people to Tesla. I did stop the test here because there was another car in that little lane and I wasn't 100% sure that it was gonna be able to make that right turn so close to the other car. So I do have the come to me version on. So there's two different options you can do. You can send it to a target point or you can just send it to a where your phone's location is. So I do have it coming to me and you can see it's traversing the parking lot now there is limited traffic 
and we do have a white strip here. I'm curious to see if it's gonna slow down and it just blows through that uh, little point right there. I would like to see it slow down a bit and kind of pull up parallel to this curb here. But again, it's gonna improve so rapidly just like Autopilot did. So here, when you just hold the come to me button down in the main part of the app, you get this beautiful rendering of what the car is seeing. You can see the path of travel going out right from the white car in the app, along with all of the curbs that the car is seeing. I mean, this is just beautiful. And this is just gonna come to you, come to your phone's location. And this rendering of what the car is seeing is just a really nice, great job, Tesla. This is simple, open the app, one click, and the car comes to you. I will be running version 10 through my normal software update test, so if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. But before we go, I wanna to talk to you about Nikola Pro and their Chrome Delete Kit. So me, I'm not a detailer at all. I'm very, very new to this whole vinyl movement as far as installing on cars. And the door handles that you saw from one of my previous videos was the only thing I've installed. But I have to say that Nikola Pro did it again and they made the center console wrap easy, they made the door handle covers easy, and they also made the full Chrome Delete Kit really easy. So I'll leave a link down below to this Chrome Delete Kit where you can pick yours up. They actually send you two Chrome Delete Kits, which is really nice. So if you mess up a piece, like if a piece tears or you just really just screw it up completely, you have another set so you can, you know, you don't have to wait for them to send you out one. You have two full sets. Not to mention, their install videos are awesome. It goes very slow, step by step, and shows you exactly what piece you need to put where, where you should use the heat gun, how to press it out. Not to mention, if you saw from that unboxing, they do include all the tools that you need. So keep in mind that it does take a while, but you can see there I have Nikola Pro's YouTube video playing while I'm installing piece by piece, just taking my time. That's the most important thing to do, but pausing their YouTube video is definitely going to leave you with phenomenal results. And me as a very novice installer, I've never done this before, I think it turned out really fantastic. This is really high quality stuff and not to mention they give you all the tools so that you succeed. To get this Chrome Delete Kit, click the link down below in the description or you can head over to my Amazon shop where I have all the products that I've recommended and tested in all of my videos, not to mention the gear that I use to make these videos. Huge shout out to my all electric tier supporters, our man of men and our Ram Atul. Thank you so much guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.